Hey folks, I'm Ryan and welcome back to the reading room. This week we got a request for some additional musculoskeletal images in the reading room and so we're going to take a look at just that. We've got a case of lameness in a dog and we're going to take a look at a set of elbow radiographs. So let's get into it. First up, our signalment and our history. This is a six-year-old male castrated Labrador retriever who's presenting for forelimb lameness. And on physical examination, we found pain on flexion and extension of the elbow. So this is a really important piece. That physical exam finding the source of the lameness and the region of pain is so important for acquiring really well positioned and diagnostic radiographs. If we're trying to image the entire leg in one shot to try to get all of our information, we're not going to end up with the same quality. So let's take a look at the images that we got. These are a little bit cropped, but we didn't take images that were much more extensive than this. We really localized to the elbow because this is where the lameness was. And so what are the findings that we're seeing here? Well, this elbow has a significant amount of periarticular bone proliferation. It's present at multiple points. It's along the margins of the ankeneal process. It's along the radial head. It's at the medial aspect of the joint, both in the joint space itself and at the level of the medial epicondyle here. So this is a lot of periarticular bone proliferation. When we're looking at a joint like this and it's so significantly affected, we need to ask ourselves questions like, is this aggressive or not? And in this instance, this is not aggressive. The things I'm looking for to tell whether a joint is aggressive is any evidence of bone lysis, especially at the level of a joint, uh, joint associated tumors. So in this case, I don't see any evidence of lysis being present. And therefore, I think this is one thing that we can conclude is a degenerative joint. So again, some of the important considerations in this case was that physical exam findings, which allowed us to take collimated radiographs, they took orthogonal projections, and importantly, sedated the patient to be able to acquire really nice and straight images. And that helped clarify the diagnosis and make sure that we got to one answer instead of questioning any level of aggressiveness. Our findings in this case were that there was marked periarticular bone proliferation, including osteofragments medially and at the level of the medial epicondyle, which indicates some degree of flexor enthesopathy. And then there was no cortical lysis, so no evidence of an aggressive joint associated lesion. Conclusions for this is that it's a degenerative joint disease or osteoarthrosis, and there's likely underlying elbow dysplasia. So our options for this patient are probably going to be medical management, especially given the patient age, and this could include a variety of different things, but sometimes we're considering things like weight loss, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs if the patient is a candidate for it, and then omega-3s. Sometimes we might even consider, consider an orthopedic surgical consultation, and that could help figure out some of the options. So I hope this has been helpful, and we'll continue to take a look at a few more musculoskeletal cases in the coming weeks.